University, which is part of the British woke empire, is being accused of cuddling students. It happened at archaeology, where the students were undergoing a module or mummification, and it had trigger warning. These are people over the age of 18, right? Because there used to be trigger warnings when I was a kid. It was, the following movie may contain scenes that are of an adult nature. Parent discretion is advised. So the concept was the parents to get the children out of the room, right? But we get to see these trigger warnings appear more often at university courses. And uh, to me, it's astonishing that they are such an integral part of American bullshit being fed through the academia as if it's science. Because there's nothing scientific about trigger warnings. In fact, science has shown that trigger warnings do the opposite of what they're intended to do. It makes it worse. I mean, imagine if you're walking through a dangerous neighborhood and you don't know that the neighborhood is dangerous. What are the anxiety levels that you experience as you're walking down that street? Probably none. Now, imagine I would tell you that the neighborhood is very dangerous. In fact, there was a murder happening there yesterday. And there's a serial killer on the loose, right? Trigger warning, be careful when you're walking that street. What would your anxiety levels be then? It's the same street, it's the same walk. And this is the test that people used to do with trigger warnings. They got people to read um, a couple of paragraphs. One of them had trigger warnings, others didn't. The people that were trigger warned were more stressed when reading the text because they were hyper aware. But this is like something which comes from the academia as if it's truth, it's utter bullshit and it's just infantilization of people. The whole purpose of it is to treat grown ass students like children so that they constantly look up to the powers that be, so that they are trained to always look up for answers and advice for more intelligent people, you know, somewhat better than them. Like, how do the teachers manage to teach the course if it has trigger warnings? Well, how does a teacher do this? And, and by the way, it went so bad that a couple of years ago, this happened at a law school, where there were trigger warnings before teaching students about rape. You know, because like they're going to end up being lawyers or prosecutors or judges and they're going to actually have to deal with this. Like, if you are trigger warned to the point where you cannot handle a discourse about rape at the University of Law, how are you going to represent an actual rapist? Because your job as a lawyer might actually be that. You might be assigned by the state if you're one of those lawyers that are paid for by the government to assign people who don't have the body to defend themselves. And you might actually need to defend a rapist. It's part of the job. What if you're a, a judge? Right? Like, and, and you need to make sure that the guy who is guilty gets seven years, doesn't get six or, or eight. Right? Like, that's also part of the job. But apparently, no, you can't do your job now because trigger warning. And by the way, like, I am willing to bet that students are going to take advantage of this. Like, when I was at the university or at school, any single excuse to just leave the classroom, I would have taken it. No one likes being in the classroom. No one enjoys that. You do it because you have to get your degree. You got to get your diploma. I studied better alone when I was at home than when I was in the classroom with the teacher. The best way was for me to study at home alone. And then if I had some questions that I literally couldn't understand, I would then ask my colleagues. I would then search on the internet. And if I couldn't find the answer, then I would ask the teacher. Honestly, the teacher was so useless. The only time the teacher was actually useful was when we did the um, actual practice. So, like, for example, when you went to the hospital and the doctor would show you on the patient uh, how to do the physical exam or, you know, how to ask the questions and conduct the medical interview, that was useful. But anything else, I w- would study by myself. I didn't need the teacher. And like me, there were so many other people. So I- I'm just seeing, like, a downgrade of what the university is supposed to do. It- it's completely disgusting. It's not that the phrase trigger warning is that of a problem. It, no, it's the, the way they treat the students that's the problem. Again, parent discretion is advised, right? Like it was meant for the parents, not to get the parents to leave the room, but it was to make sure that there aren't children there. And it's the same thing with the trigger warnings, except now the targeted audience are the students themselves. And this is happening at the University of York. 
which is accused of coddling its students as participants of the archaeology course have been warned that they will encounter images of human remains. As if, like, they don't know. Like, what type of imbecile goes to archaeology and doesn't know that they're going to see that? If that imbecile exists, maybe he shouldn't graduate. Like, maybe if his mind is that dumb, he shouldn't be a member of the intelligentsia class. It's in the name, intelligentsia. Like, if you're not that smart to figure out that you're going to see dead bodies at archaeology, I don't know what else to tell you. It's the same thing with, uh, you know, seeing dead bodies at med school. Like, there are certain professions where you kind of expect things. It's like being a soldier. It is possible that you may be deployed in a foreign nation, you may be given a gun, and you have to pull the trigger against an enemy. It's part of being a soldier, isn't it? Imagine if that was the case for, for the military as well. It's like, hey, trigger warning. Not the actual trigger, by the way, but like trigger warning. Anyone that feels uncomfortable, you don't have to be deployed, okay? Because you might go somewhere and you might have to shoot at the enemy. What about being a police officer or, or a firefighter? Hey, trigger warning, there might be a fire in this building. If you're uncomfortable, you don't have to go in. Of course, yeah, they're coddling students. And the reason they're doing it, I've already mentioned it. Students who take part in a module on mummification have reportedly been notified that the lectures will contain images of dead bodies and human skeletal material. Uh, again, I have absolutely no sympathy for this because I went to med school. I seen this shit. Okay, you get used to it. It's part of the freaking job. If you don't want the job, why did you apply? Like, no one forced them at gunpoint to go to the archaeology university. Like, it's so obvious that you might find human remains there. Like, that's what you do. You dig up shit and you find knowledge of ancient civilization. It makes you happy. Because you're doing your job. Like, that. Why, why would you go there if that doesn't make you happy? You know, you find, like, the ancient burial ground of some indigenous people and you get to learn about their history and shit. Isn't that why you go there? fuck is wrong with you? In the previous years, the university website has noticed students have said they really enjoyed the in-depth discussion of Egyptian mummification. Of course they did! That's why they're going there! Like, it's, it's the main reason why you want to be at archaeology, to figure out how people did things in the past. The professor for the department... Uh, slam this move, describing it as an example of infantilization of British universities. Good, good. It, it's amazing that Alan Sked exists and there are people like him which are fighting the fight against this, this type of mental damage that you inflict upon students. He told the Telegraph not so long ago, Glasgow University warned its theology students that a course on Christ ended with a very violent episode called the Crucifixion. No, honestly, like... um. The only other explanation that I have for this is that you have certain people that are paid to come up with this shit, right? Like, I don't know, diversity officer or what, whatever, you know, like health and safety officer. Like someone that's paid thousands of dollars to come up with this shit. So they have to justify their income and they're coming up with this bullshit. I, I can't explain it any other way. But uh, hopefully we're going to see less of it in the future, although <laughs> I'm not that optimistic. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Like, do you think this is a, a trivial matter and I just got upset for no reason? I guess there's a little bit of personality in the videos that I'm making, uh, like uh, a little bit of me here. I don't like it when people inf infantilize me, like when people look down at me or they treat me with this level of disrespect. It's like, I, I am capable of seeing that, okay? I think any grown-ass adult is capable of taking an archaeology course and, and seeing the mummification. And like, like, it's not even scary or anything. Like, you're talking about people who died thousands of years ago, right? Like, and, and none of their practices or culture exist today. Like, why would it be scary? What, in what world? Like, I would like to see the person that would legitimately be traumatized at this. It's like, no, I can't, I can't look at the course with the mummies because it's scary. I saw the mommy movie, Imhotep, Imhotep, and it, it scares me. It's like, okay, well, then maybe you shouldn't watch TV. Let me know what you guys think, though, and I'll see you in the comment section. Take care.